Hey, have you ever heard of quantum computing? Quantum computing? I've heard the term, but I'm not really sure what it means. Can you explain it to me in simple terms? Sure. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses the principles of quantum mechanics. It's like traditional computing, but instead of using bits to store and process information, it uses quantum bits, or qubits. What's the difference between a regular bit and a qubit? Good question. A regular bit can be either a zero or a one, representing two possible states. But a qubit can be a zero, a one, or both at the same time. This property is called superposition. So, a qubit can exist in multiple states simultaneously? Exactly. It's a bit like Schrodinger's cat, which is famously both alive and dead until observed. Qubits can be in a superposition of states until measured, and that's where quantum computing gets interesting. How does that make quantum computing more powerful than traditional computing? Well, when you have multiple qubits in a superposition, their states can interact and affect each other thanks to a property called entanglement. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster and more efficiently than classical computers. That sounds incredible. But how do you actually use these quantum computers? Ah, that's the tricky part. Quantum computers are still in the early stages of development, and building and operating them is quite challenging due to the delicate nature of qubits. But scientists and researchers are working on it, and once fully realized, quantum computers could revolutionize fields like cryptography, optimization, and drug discovery. I see. So, instead of using regular bits, quantum computers use qubits that can be in multiple states at once, allowing for faster and more complex calculations. That's a great summary. Quantum computing has the potential to unlock new possibilities in technology and scientific research. It's an exciting field to keep an eye on. Definitely. Thanks for explaining it to me in simple terms. Quantum computing still seems mind-boggling, but at least now I have a better grasp of the basics.